Movie trailers, video game trailers, all that stuff is marketing, as you probably know. And sometimes they stretch the truth a little bit. Here are 10 game trailer examples. Let's get started off with number 10. You know, there are lies and then there are capital L lies. And while most game trailers try to get away with the former, it's rare to see a trailer that literally 100% is just straight up like a lie. Usually there's a little bit of wiggle room for developers and publishers to justify or weasel out of their trailer choices. You know, mistakes are made, but not so with the Switch version of Mortal Kombat 1 uh, for one very good reason, like they were caught. This one is pretty much as black and white as they get. Before releasing the Switch version of Mortal Kombat 1, a trailer was uploaded to the Nintendo YouTube channel called the Mortal Kombat 1 launch trailer with a big Nintendo logo on the thumbnail. The graphics, while clearly downgraded, still looked just a little too good to be true, but there was no smoking gun. Well, until you get to the 1 minute 53 seconds mark into the video, and uh, what is that popping up right there? That's a Steam achievement. Yes, that's exactly what it is. The footage was clearly filed using the PC version of the game. None of the footage used for this launch trailer, that is all gameplay, is actually from the Switch version. So of course, the actual Switch version comes out and it looks way worse than anything from that trailer. It was a complete and total fib and we all have the receipts to prove it. It's right there. Now, next over at number nine, let's talk about the day before. Now, we've been banging on about this game for a while now, but its trailers were so obviously fake that we really can't let it go. We didn't expect the final product to have half of what we saw in the trailers. We still thought it could have been cool, but we didn't think it would end up being this total disaster it proved to be. Now, just claiming to have a functional game at all is basically a lie, so we could complain about literally any of the trailers for this game, but for the purpose of this video, let's talk about the two trailers that promised the most, the announcement trailer and the exclusive official gameplay trailer. The announcement trailer looked impressive, promising a cinematic open world shooter with the fidelity and gameplay of The Last of Us mixed in with the openness and survival of something like DayZ and maybe some elements of The Division. Now we were excited by this concept from this trailer and we knew a lot of it was probably too good to be true, but there was some potential. But still, uh, then the official gameplay trailer may be worse because it shows so so much that just isn't possible in a large scale online game. Do they really expect us to believe that this thing is going to have a massive open world that also has complex mud runner style fluid physics that you have to overcome when driving on top of all the other things? There's no way. How dumb did they think we were? There's so much more to talk about because pretty much everything they showed leading up to release was in some way faked or exaggerated, but we've got other trailers to get to. This one has been talked to death. Now over at number eight, speaking of beating dead horses, it's Cyberpunk 2077. Now all the consternation and anger surrounding Cyberpunk at launch may feel like a distant memory now. They've really turned things around. It is a great game. But when it first launched, it just wasn't the game that people were expecting from the trailers. The gameplay reveal alone contains many elements that seemed like they were going to be in the final game, but were cut, like wall running. That 2018 trailer that got everyone hyped up, the entire thing was completely fictional. It was an entirely aspirational trailer meant to give us the idea of what the game was going to be, which may have worked too well because it set expectations sky high for Cyberpunk to be like this GTA 5 style epic instead of what it actually was, an RPG. You know, a little bit of a buggy RPG. You can't ignore how buggy the game was at release. I mean, we talked about it, there were so many issues, and it took a long time to get the game up to the standard that it's at now. That's not necessarily the trailer's fault, but overall, these original trailers promised a game that they did not really get back in 2020. It wasn't until like 2023-ish that they finally gave us the game that everybody really wanted it to be in the first place. Next over at number seven, uh, we have The Last of Us Part Two. Buckle up. Um, not all lies are created equal because sometimes a video game trailer lies to you for a reason. We've seen this in a lot of media. It's not just trying to trick you into buying a game. You know, some trailers are designed to be intentionally deceptive to keep certain plot points hidden or to surprise the audience. I mean, Metal Gear Solid 2 is an infamous example of this, but the trailers for that game did not go as far as the ones for The Last of Us Part Two. Uh, instead of only showing certain parts of the game, the trailers for this game went so far as to completely alter certain events and characters to make you think that something was happening in the final game when it doesn't. Now, we're being vague here, but this game has been out for a few years now, so we might as well just go and say it. 
The trailer is meant to lead you to believe that Ellie is out for revenge and Joel might be coming with her. In the actual game, Joel is the one she's getting revenge for, and the person she's actually talking to in the trailer is a character named Jesse. You can love that, you can hate that, you can be loved uh, being set up for a big surprise in a game, a big reveal, or you can be pissed that one of your favorite characters is dead right out of the gate. This one kind of reminds me of some of the marketing and original trailers for Spider-Man Homecoming, where they clearly advertise and showed in the trailers that Spider-Man was gonna swing around while Iron Man's flying with him. And that doesn't happen in the movie. You don't forget these types of things. Anyway, next at number six, let's talk Aliens Colonial Marines. Now, the first gameplay trailer for Aliens Colonial Marines was infamous for being really different from the final game, so much so that uh, the publisher and developer Gearbox and Sega were both sued for false advertising. And then of course, the fact that the game was largely just ridiculed as a complete mess really only fanned the flames. Uh, that work in progress message is doing a lot of heavy lifting in this one, huh? I mean, th this one is infamous. This trailer just looks so much better and more interesting than the actual final game we got. The graphics are better, the scripted events are more interesting, and many aspects of the gameplay were simplified or just completely removed from the actual game. The entire ending section of the trailer where you do like a separate last stand with a turret is a total fabrication. There's nothing in the final game even close to that. All the power loader stuff is bull. You know, the whole thing may look like gameplay, but none of it gets close to what the actual game looks or plays like. I remember, I played this. The trailer made Colonial Marines look like a game worth playing, but the final product is just an especially low quality, busted Call of Duty campaign knockoff. Next over at number five, oh, the final version of Final Fantasy 15 is one of the most interesting kind of mess ups out there. It's not a bad game, but man, does it feel unfinished towards the end. This is a game that spent years in development hell. It was only like originally going to be a spin-off Final Fantasy 13 game before eventually evolving it into a full-blown main entry game. And from everything that we've read about the production, it was a non-stop train wreck that just never stopped crashing. Go back and look at pretty much any trailer for this game early on, and you'll see so much stuff that straight up isn't in the final product. I think this game changed direction so many times. And we think in this case, uh, their ambition far outstripped their abilities. And combine that with nobody quite knowing what this game was even going to be means that every single trailer looks completely different, like a different game. This E3 2013 trailer is especially bad. It's like, what the heck is all this? We wanna play this game, not whatever we eventually got. There are a few chunks of this trailer that do end up in the final game, but the vast majority of it is nowhere to be seen. Uh, what they've been showing here is absurdly ambitious. I mean, you can see the trailer's frame rates start chugging in the large open combat section, so of course the final game wasn't going to be nearly as crazy as this. Still, they showed it, it's in the trailer, so it's only fair that people see it and expect the final game to look and play like this, and it just didn't. Now over at number four, it's 2009. You're an EA executive trying to figure out how to market this new Bioware game. It's an RPG fantasy epic called Dragon Age, huh? So should we show off the deep character creation, the branching narrative or the tactical combat, you know, the stuff that Bioware was really crushing at the time? No, screw that. Just crank up Marilyn Manson and try to convince everyone that this is an edgelord action game that's just awesome. That's what everybody wants, right? It sounds like a joke, but this is real. EA actually did this in the lead up to Dragon Age Origins. There's literally a trailer for this game that makes it look like an action game. And it has the like, this is the new shit we're playing over it. Is it deeply embarrassing? Absolutely. Is it also still kind of awesome? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, did they think that people really would be fooled? Like, did anyone pick this game up and end up legitimately shocked about all the dialogue options and turn-based combat? I'd really want to know because like, man, this trailer is really trying as hard as it can to give people a false impression about the game without actually straight up lying. You know, everything shown in the trailer is in the game. All of this stuff can happen, but the music and the way it's edited are trying to make it look like this hardcore blood and action game rather than a pretty traditional fantasy game, which is actually what it is. It's such an over-the-top mischaracterization that you'd almost think this trailer is actually a parody, but it's real. 
Now over number three, uh, Bioshock Infinite. We're willing to defend Bioshock Infinite to a certain extent, but there's no denying that this is another game that looked like it would be much different, maybe much bigger in some of the earlier trailers. You know, like Final Fantasy XV, this game did go through multiple revisions and reboots apparently during its development. And while the game it finally ended up being wasn't bad, it's clear that they had to rein in some of their ambitions quite a bit to actually get this game running on hardware at the time. The trailer showed us a massive world. You could travel around freely, practically an open world Bioshock, but the final version of the game is mostly a linear shooter with some slightly bigger arenas that are nowhere near the scale that some of those trailers really promised. It's clear that the pre-SSD consoles and PCs just couldn't handle the speed and openness that they wanted to achieve with this game, so it had to be scaled back significantly. And while they clearly did the best with what they had, it's not hard to just look back at some of these early trailers and wonder what could have been. Next over at number two, we have Madden 06. Sure, you know, the games like Watch Dogs or Killzone 2 were pretty obviously making the games look better than what was technically possible. But if we're gonna go back to the past and dredge up old trailers, to try, to try to trick us about their visuals somewhat, uh, we've got the absolute worst here. Uh, they should be ashamed to call this a gameplay trailer. I mean, seriously, who on earth were you fooling with this one? This is supposed to be an early Xbox 360 game. There's really no other way to look at it. It's so obviously pre-rendered. It's kind of crazy that EA thought they could get away with this one. You might be watching this wondering when they're gonna cut away to the actual game, but no, they never do. Like this is literally supposed to be gameplay trailer, even though it has all the hallmarks of being pre-rendered. It, it's not touched up gameplay. It's not the game running on a supercomputer to make it look better. It's just a pre-rendered movie that EA is calling gameplay. It's shameless. So it's stuff like this that made anyone so distrustful of trailers in the 2000s and the 2010s, because this is the sort of thing that they were trying to tell us is real. Now over at number one, AAA games don't have the best track record about being truthful in their trailers. We've talked about it in this video and many others, but man, uh, they've got nothing on mobile games. They don't even try. They just straight up lie to you about the kind of game you're gonna end up downloading. And while Ebony Online is one of the easiest games there to point out and make fun of, it's, it's worth noting that so many others do it. Sometimes they just content themselves by showing trailers that are just CGI animations with no actual gameplay in them. But the worst mobile game trailers show you a game that's just not the one you're actually downloading. They'll show you this puzzle game, but the action game you're getting is this city builder thing that also has 2D elements, but they're nothing like whatever it's being advertised in the trailer. Like this sort of thing is such a common problem in the mobile gaming market that there's a game that exists just to make fun of the entire concept. It's called, and this is actually a game, yeah. You want those games, right? So here you go. That's actually the full name of the game here on screen, and it's incredible. So those are 10 game trailers that lied. Some big ways, some weird ways, some unfortunate ways. Uh, it's just funny to take a trip down memory lane and see where marketing in video games has gone. There are plenty of other examples though, some worse examples we've talked about in the past, but if you think we missed anything or you wanna hear us highlight more, let us know in the comments. But if you like this video and you like talking games with us every day, all you gotta do is click the like button. It really helps us out. And if you're new, consider subscribing, maybe hitting that notification bell because we put out new videos every single day. But as always, thanks for watching and we'll see you guys next time.